And Jen, if you've been to this plaza, you'll notice even from far away, it is quite an eyesore and businesses here will soon have to make a decision one they say won't be easy to make. This is not the time for me to look for another place. Herman Todd owns Living Word Imprints, a school uniform business at the Silver Lane Plaza in East Hartford. He and the other businesses received this eviction notice two weeks ago, informing them they have 90 days to leave. While the businesses knew the town had plans to do this, they are overwhelmed by the tight deadline. All we're objecting to is the way that we, the tenants, are being treated um, and the rush. Todd telling Fox 61 he will relocate, but the thought of where has not even crossed his mind. If I try to, to move now, what would happen to my whole entire year for school uniforms? Because this is, this is what keeps me in business. East Hartford Mayor Mike Walsh assures the 90-day notice is just to get the business's attention, meaning they can stay past August if more time is needed. Businesses were also given this four-page notice offering moving expenses. We're amenable to extending their lease through September, October, November, December, but you got to give us a plan. The decision, the mayor says, is being made for the safety of the owners. We understand it's disruptive, but the plaza is not safe. The plaza cannot be insured. The plaza cannot be redeveloped. For others, like GMAR Oriental Grocery, a new location has already been found, the Manchester Parkade Plaza. It is just a matter of figuring out the logistics, but the owner says they hope to open by August. Making sure like, oh, everyone knows that like we're moving and like going to a different place, getting all the plumbing, electricity, like all that figured out. It's like obviously like a big deal. Now, the mayor says he'd like for all of these businesses to leave by December the latest, but of course that depends on the businesses themselves and their progress in relocating. Live in East Harford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.